Alright guys, how's it going? So this is going to be a very quick video today. Now generally when I'm doing product renders, sure as hell the client will ask for an x-ray. They usually do between a live boolean and an x-ray render, it's usually there. So this is a very simple setup. One of the caveats being is you need to use cycles and I'll explain why in a second. Now rather than me sitting setting up every single node, I'll just talk you through it. Now what I'm doing here is, I'm actually using a layer weight node, and I'm actually using the facing value. Now this means I can blend it on and off, so I can do things like this. Now I plug this into a colour ramp because it gives me a little bit more fidelity. I can kind of squeeze the values just a little bit, and it's a basic colour ramp. Now obviously the colour from this goes into a mixed shader, and we then use a transparent BSDF. Now this is one of the trade-offs with cycles, you kind of need to use that. I then plug this into the material output and I use a second shader. Now what we can actually use here is another transparent BSDF and if I plug this into the mix shader you can see here I can actually control the different colours and you get this really nice kind of faint x-ray look, it's pretty nice to be honest. Now another trick you can do here is actually plug an emission channel into the shader and you get this completely popping value and it's pretty cool, it's a nice effect, the client might like it. But generally what I do here is, just to give it a little bit more pizzazz, is I use a principal shader and I'll explain why in a second. So I'll plug the principal shader in here, we'll scroll down. Now the base colour at the moment doesn't really make any difference. I generally add a little bit of subsurface scattering. I don't know why, it just gives it this kind of nice soft feel. There's a few things you can do here just to kind of give it that extra kick. Put some emission on, put the transmission up as well and you just get this really nice kind of x-ray effect and that's pretty much it. Now what you can also do here is if we quickly jump into layout you could obviously cheat, you can go into add modifier and you could do something like a wireframe modifier on the top and you get this really nice kind of wireframe x-ray look. So I'll just show you the nodes one last time, use the layer weight, plug this into a colour ramp, put this into a mix shader, mix two different materials, make sure one of them is a transparent. Now you could probably make this a glass but hey, it comes down to render times. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.